dear students we are going to start module 3 in this lecture video uh, we will be studying ip as the iot network layer that is the name of the uh, chapter and under this the topic the business is for internet protocol so in this uh, particular lecture video uh, we will be studying the advantages of internet protocol in IoT. Okay, so let us start the business case for IoT. Data flowing from one or thing is consumed, controlled, or monitored by data center server, either in the cloud or in locations that may be distributed or centralized. So here. Uh, uh, to deal with the uh, Internet of Things, where all the small small objects will be connected with the Internet, and they will be sharing the data. So it's a very important to study the Internet protocol in this scenario. So this chapter or this model is fully dedicated with studying the different Internet protocols, uh, which support. Uh, the Internet of Things. So, as we know that uh, when the data flow uh, from uh, a network to the things or from things to the network, the data is consumed, it, will, it can be controlled or monitored by data center servers either in the cloud or in locations that may be distributed or centralized. The system solutions combining various physical and data link layers call for an architectural approach with a formal layer independent from the lower connectivity or upper application layer that is using internet protocol. So here the uh, physical layer and uh, application layers will be connected with each other using the internet protocol. The information technology IT or optional technology or operational technology, the lifetime of underlying technology and products. Uh, to guarantee multi to guarantee multi-year lifetime is to define a layered architecture such as the 30 year old internet protocol architecture. So here we are going to study the key advantages of internet protocol. So the different advantages of the internet protocol for internet of things are open and standards based, versatile, ubiquitous, scalable, manageable and highly secure, stable and resilient, consumer market adoption, the innovation factor. So one by one we will be studying these in detail the different advantages of internet protocol over internet of things. So first advantage is it is open and standard based. So internet of things creates a new paradigm in which devices, applications and users can leverage a large set of devices and functionality while guaranteeing interchangeability and interoperability, security and management. So Internet uh, of Things it provides a new uh, uh, scenario in which uh, small small devices, their applications or many users can connect with each other and it gives the guarantee for interchanging the data. Interoperability means a data can be operated on different different operating systems. It provides security of the data and total management of the data. So this calls for implementation, validation and deployment of open standard based services. So, Internet Protocol, it uh, calls for implementation, 
validation and deployment of open standard based solutions. While many, while many standards development organizations are working on Internet of Things definitions, frameworks, applications, and technologies, none are questioning the role of Internet Engineering Task Force as the foundation for specifying and optimizing the network and transport layer. Uh, so there is an organization called SQO, uh, of which uh, uh, what support Internet of Things, which provides the definitions, frameworks, applications, and technology. Even there is another uh, task force called IETF, Internet of Engineering Task Force. So uh, its a foundation is to specify and optimize the network and transport layer using Internet Protocol. Then what is IETF? It is an organization. So the IETF is an open standard body uh, that focuses on the development of the Internet Protocol suit and suit and related internet technologies and protocols. Next question, next advantage is versatile. A large spectrum of access technologies is available to offer connectivity of things in the last mile. So here a different, uh, a large spectrum uh, will be is available for Internet of Things. Even if physical and data link layers such as Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and cellular are widely adopted, the history of data communications demonstrates that no given wire or wireless technology fits all deployment criteria. So here uh, it means uh, the uh, new technology, either it's a wireless technology or wire technology, it is not fit for the development criteria for all Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or cellular network. Communications, communication technology evolved at a pace faster than the expected 10 to 20 year lifetime of operation technology solutions. So the layered IP architecture is well equipped to cope with any type of physical and data link layers. Uh, this makes IP ideal as a long-term investment because various protocols at these layers can be used in the deployment now and over time without requiring changes to the whole solution architecture and data flow. Next uh, advantage of using IP in Internet of Things is ubiquitous. All recent operating system releases from general purpose computer and servers to lightweight embedded system have an integrated dual IPv4 and IPv6 IP stacks that get enhanced over time. So it means uh, it, it is a combined uh, internet protocol, IPv internet protocol version 4 and internet protocol version 6. All are used together for general purpose computers, servers, or lightweight embedded systems. IoT application protocols in many industrial OT solutions have been updated in recent years to run over IP. So, uh, these IoT application protocols in many industries have made mandatory for using this IP uh, to run over the years. Uh, while these updates have mostly consisted of IPv4, to this point,